and the movie starts with a gold necklace falling on thick snow. There's a woman hanging on a ledge of a snowy cliff, and she doesn't look like she'll be able to pull herself up, and she screams as the screen fades to black. A little girl in a red jacket is running across a forest. She looks nervous and scared, but before long she reaches a house, and she looks around as she heads for the door. As she knocks on it, Alex opens it and is surprised to find Ava at his door. He asks her what she's doing there and where her mom is, but the little girl faints before answering. Next we see that it's the year 2041, and a plane makes its way across the snowy mountains to a small airfield where David was there waiting with his car for Alex to get off the plane. David is happy to see Alex, and Alex gets off the plane holding a small travel bag along with his robot cat following him. They hug tightly as they haven't seen each other in 10 years, and they're both too cold and decide to leave quickly. In the car, they talk about the amazing robots Alex has made, and how David prefers lecturing because he likes the students. David invites Alex to stay with his family, but Alex wants to stay at his parents' house, which they both think would be a mess. At the university, students were working on a lot of robots, even outside. And as Alex was getting out, David invites him to dinner, which he accepts. He walks into the university and makes his way to Julia's office, but he's greeted by a receptionist bot who tells him that Julia is teaching a class and is unavailable at that moment. He doesn't listen and just walks in anyways, and as soon as he walks in, the students recognize who he is and Julia greets him. Two students seem to be having trouble with their small robot horse, and Alex makes his way over to them and inspects the situation, and he asks them what they should do next, and one student says, what you see when you close your eyes, which is a phrase that shuts down any robot forcefully. Alex doesn't like that and explains to the students that even if they restart the robot, it will lose all its emotional memory. Julia also tells the rest of the class that the phrase is sacred and it should only be used in the most extreme cases. Julia walks Alex over to a window, and when he looks inside, he sees a robot that looks exactly like a real boy. The SI9 has everything made just like the way Alex designed it 10 years ago, and it's only missing one thing, the emotional intelligence software. Alex is there to figure out and install the software, which is something Julia had deemed impossible years ago. They walk in and Alex inspects the robot structure closely, and this is when Julia asks him to complete the project that he started all those years ago because he's the only one who can make this robot both fun and safe. Alex walks over to Julia's car and as he was about to step in, he sees her, Lana, his former lover, and he seems shaken and surprised to see her teaching a group of students. She also stops for a second when she sees it's actually him, but he gets inside the car and they drive off. They go to the house and he scans his palm to open the door. They can see the house is quite dirty inside and still has old pictures of Alex and his family. He tells her that he wants to set up in the basement, and she tells him that she will ship the needed components over to him. The next morning, Alex had fallen asleep while working and was woken up by a knock at the door. He opens it and is met by SI7, an android named Max, and Max analyzes the house and comes up with all the things that need to be cleaned up and done. When Alex asks Max, he finds out that Max is made by David, his brother, and that Max is more like a personal assistant. He leaves Max to do the cleaning and heads over to the university, and Alex and Julia were looking at videos of different boys performing tasks, but Alex doesn't really like them, cause to him, they all seem too boring to base the character of the new model on. As he was about to walk out of the building, he sees that Lana was lecturing, and he decides to drop by. The class ends just as he sits down, and after the students leave, she tells him that the students are learning about his theories, but he insists that they're there to see her instead, but they both couldn't stop smiling. As Alex was driving back home, he sees a group of girls playing, and one of them catches his eye. It was Ava in her red jacket, and she confronts him and asks him why he's looking at the children so much, and he answers her, but he was surprised. She was a very confident and dashing child, all the things that Alex had been looking for. Then, she blatantly accuses him of being a pervert who likes to look at kids, and this sold it for Alex, as this was just a type of non-boring kid that he'd been searching for. When he offers her candy, she drives home her point that he's a pervert, but she takes the candy anyways. 
He then tells her about his work and invites her to work together. He walks into the house and sees Max had prepared dinner and made a basket for the cat. Max and the cat couldn't really get along because the cat is a free robot and isn't governed by the same rules as Max. After eating, Alex gets to work trying to come up with a suitable software for the new model. When he's happy with the design, he sends it to a prototype robot, and the robot wakes up and starts doing things, and Alex records the way it's behaving. A phone call comes in and it scares the robot, and it was David who invites Alex to dinner and to hang out before he could say no. That night, he gets to David's house and they talk about Max in the house. Lana walks in and it's clear that Lana and David are married. But then, something happens that surprises Alex. Ava walks in the door, and David tells her to introduce herself to Uncle Alex. She does and winks at him, not telling them that she'd met Alex before. All four of them gather around the dinner table and talk about Alex and his work. He then takes a video of them as they were playing together. Max asks Alex that the girl would be a bit out of the ordinary to be a model for the robot, but Alex tells him that this was what he was looking for. But in the video, Alex was more focused on Lana than Ava. Alex falls asleep working again and is woken up by the sound of rocks being thrown at his window. And it was Ava and he walks out of his house and greets her and she leaps off the roof of the car that she was sitting on and walks inside the house. She plays around with the different gadgets in the workshop and when he finishes setting up the computer, Alex lets her tell him the emotions that she sees on the different images on the screen. She then gets bored and leaves, but he doesn't follow her so she comes back. She insists on seeing the brain Alex is working on, so he shows it to her and all the components and how it works, and he then starts it and she sees the prototype robot wake up. Ava was at home now, taking a bath, and Lana was washing her hair. Ava tells her that she was with Alex that day, and Lana was upset, and warns her not to ride her bike out of town like that again. Ava is bold and asks the type of relationship that Alex and Lana had, and Lana does her best to explain, but she ends up playing it off with a joke. Alex was at the university trying to convince Julia to base the model on a girl instead of a boy because he thinks girls are more interesting and are a lot more fun than boys that age. He walks out and finds Lana, and they both walk over to the parking lot, and as they were talking, it's obvious that there's still tension between them and unresolved feelings. David was there to pick her up, and she leaves, and in the morning, Ava was at Alex's house again, but he tells her to leave because her parents don't want her to be working on the project. But she convinces him to stay, and they go ice skating, which Alex is not really good at, so Ava shows him some moves. They climb a mountain together and they can see the city and she shows him her house and across the town she shows him another house and tells him that David lives there. And when he asks why, she tells him that David doesn't live with her and Lana anymore. That night, when Alex was looking through the footage that he recorded with Ava, the prototype robot asks him if Ava was his daughter because she looks a lot like him. And this makes Alex think because he left Lana in the university around the same time where Ava would have been conceived. The next day, Alex was outside of their house looking through the fence as Lana and Ava played in the snow when he got startled by David who was coming home. David invites Alex inside, but Alex comes up with an excuse and refuses to go inside. That night, Alex was working on his prototype and as he was going through the images, it said something made Alex laugh but when he laughed, the robot got offended and went into rage, throwing paper on the floor. Alex tries to command it to stop, but the robot wouldn't listen and asks Alex to open the door because it wanted to leave. And when Alex says no, the robot throws a woodcarver at his head but misses. And that's when Alex had enough and says the phrase, what do you see when you close your eyes, which shuts down the robot. At a dinner party, Alex watches Lana and David dancing and goes over to ask to cut in and David lets him. When David sees the tension between Alex and Lana, he gets angry and storms off and she gets nervous and wants to go look for David, so they both go out. When they couldn't find him, they started talking and one thing led to another and Alex kisses Lana and for a moment she kisses him back but quickly breaks it off and runs away. 
This is when David comes up behind Alex and punches him in the face and they fight, and David then stands over him and tells him to go away. After cleaning up, he gets a hug from Max, and that morning, he goes to Julia and tells her that he won't be able to finish the project, and Julia asks if it's because of Lana, but he leaves without answering. Alex then goes over to see Ava, and he tells her that he'll be leaving soon, and she's clearly upset by the news, and she asks him not to leave, because she just got to meet him, and it's clear that there's some kind of special connection between them. In his workshop, Lana comes by to visit and apologizes, but as soon as she climbs down the stairs, they kiss again, and Lana says that she wants to tell him something important. When all of this was going on, Ava was looking through the window, and she heard Lana tell Alex that they made Ava, and also said something else that Ava couldn't make out. Ava makes a noise from the place that she was at, and Lana runs after her, saying that it has to be her to tell Ava the truth. She finds Ava passed out on the snow, and she cuts out the skin of her back and reveals a metal casing. Ava was apparently a robot, and Lana quickly changes something, and Ava wakes up again, and when Lana tried to explain to Ava about what she really is, Ava wouldn't listen and pushed her away, and Lana tried to hug her, which broke the gold necklace. Ava pushed one more time, and Lana fell and slid over the edge. This is when she ran toward Alex's house at the opening scene, and Alex carries Ava inside till she wakes up, and he calls David to tell him about Ava, but he hears that Lana is inside the hospital, and when hearing this, he takes Ava with him and they rush over there. But unfortunately, Lana died there in the hospital, and Max laid down a tired Ava, and Alex talks to Julia, and she tells him that Ava was the first SI9 that he worked on originally, and Lana kept her despite having safety issues. And at this point, they had no other choice but to dispose of Ava, so Alex volunteers to do it. He took her ice skating one last time, and after they took a walk through the snow, she showed him a view and asked him to fix her, but there was nothing he could do. At home, he takes her to bed, and once he puts her down, he whispers those words, What do you see when you close your eyes? Shutting her down one last time. And the movie ends as we see a sequence of Adam, Lana, and Ava playing at the beach wearing white.